So the call-outs, they are coming as things that get more and more interesting by the day, as not only a certain nameless person gets called out, but also the organizations that empowered a narrative. Along with that call-out, we get something even more interesting. We get this little thing called proof. And this little thing called proof, yeah, it's missing about three million little dollar signs. <laughs> Ooh, this. It's the kind of thing that you can't ignore. And if I'm reading this right, according to this designation here, there's a lot lot, lot more of where this is coming from. So hey there to all you wonderful folks. I hope you are having a fantastic 2021. What we're doing today is we're adding to something that we began talking about yesterday. This stuff, it's fluid. All of it just keeps coming out. And what we're seeing here is amazing. In fact, I'm going to ask you to share this. I'm going to ask you to comment all of that stuff that feeds the algorithm. You know how that goes. And yeah, let's get started. So very, very briefly, in case you missed it, I don't want to spend a lot of time on it, but I do want people to know what's going on. Yesterday, after months of silence, Adam Waldman, representative for JD, he started posting and he started talking about something that's been on everyone's lips. This, it has to do with charity. It has to do with two organizations, the CHLA and the ACLU, and it deals with seven million little question marks or seven million little dollar signs. See, these, they came up during a settlement. They were supposed to all go to charity. Now, these charities, along with a certain nameless party, they were asked to do something very, very simple. They had been happy to do this for the last three years plus, by the way. They were asked to go in and talk about this, but they were asked to, number one, put this on record, and number two, to supply evidence of this transpiring. And you know what? Everybody, they wanted to lock this conversation down. Now, the prior screenshot, it showcases that there was indeed an answer to a request for information. And all the information that we're getting right now, this brand new stuff, all of that proof, apparently it came from that. See, when you look at the screenshots here, you see designations. This designation, it's a PDF. It came from the CHLA. This, again, it's going to showcase everything that they got from that person. And this, it comes after quite a bit of work. Now, Adam Waldman, for his part, he didn't just trip over this yesterday. He's been asking this question, or let's just say seven million little questions, for the last few years, from 2018 on. And these organizations and the people that are attached to it, they have out and out ignored these questions. They have done, again, anything they can to talk about this in public, but they've also tried to block this discussion when you go in and you ask for evidence. Now, Adam Waldman, if you don't know, he's a representative for JD, and after months of silence, like I said, we are talking about a long time there between posts, he started posting thing after thing as this veritable dam of information, it just came busting open. Now, like I said, I covered part of that yesterday in the video, but so many good things have come up in the last few hours, including call-outs. Call-outs plus information behind them. And yeah, I got to show you this stuff. So here's Adam Waldman posting, saying, you know that we know the truth at Children's LA. That's the CHLA or the Children's Hospital Los Angeles, one of those places that supposedly got $3.5 million and one of the places that went out and pushed the narrative that this happened. Both of those things are very important, too, because decisions were made in 2020, huge decisions, saying a certain person, they can be trustworthy because they gave all of that out. So this isn't just about charity and donations. This is about taking somebody at their word, trusting their character. This, it speaks to all of that and so much more. Years of silence in the face of injustice justice, when you have allowed your institution to be used for fake PR to ruin the life of a man you once honored is inexcusable. And I like this part here. Why not tell the truth before it is told for you? You know why they don't want to tell you that, by the way? Because they are complicit in this. They're not just a bystander. They were complicit in a narrative. Like they said, that institution, it was utilized for fake PR that helped ruin a person's life. Yeah, they're not 
innocent bystanders at all. Now, the screenshots that he adds are utterly fascinating. I'm cutting off part of one here because, well, the other organization, they're also quoted, and well, when the ACLU gets their turn at bat, I'll show you that stuff as well. But this, it deals with the CHLA, and it deals with upper-level executives coming out talking about this and never ever going out and clarifying what transpired. So the hospital CEO, Paul V, also think that certain nameless party in a statement Quote, her generosity will support the life-saving treatments and cures that the CHLA provides for critically ill children each year, he said. Now, you think about that, and you think about the reverse. If you pledged money and it doesn't come through, what does that say? But again, they never set the record straight on it. Now, this other screenshot I want to read to you, too, because it goes along with the call-out, is well-deserved as well. So, breaking news, Johnny Depp to receive the Courage of Care Award from CHLA. LA. You notice this is in 2006, and this, it involves $2 million actual money, not pledged money, actual money that was awarded to the place. So, CHLA has just announced that it will honor JD with the Courage to Care Award for Philanthropic Excellence on behalf of children. The award will be presented at the second annual, you have the layout there, I'll butcher the name, so I apologize, on October the 7th, which is a star-studded multicultural celebration honoring individuals who make a difference in the lives of children around the world. Joining Johnny as the year's Courage to Care recipients, so they have different people here as well, different organizations, and they talk about the money that was raised. So, they decide that they're going to award somebody that, and then a decade later, they help throw them under a bus for the promise of money that was never delivered. Yeah, that says something, and it says something terrible. Now, a couple of hours later, Adam Waldman offers up this. I'll tell you about what it means in just a second, but let's read over this together. Quote, the entire amount of my $7 million settlement was donated to charity that certain nameless party under oath claimed in the UK, hardly the act of a gold digger, said an admiring Justice Nichols. You know the justice that presided over that, the justice that had a lot of ties, by the way, so that, that's not just the only thing there. But these anonymous Nichols from space six years later, not the pocketed settlement Nichols. Hmm. Now, as far as these screenshot that he's provides go, these are really, really fascinating. They're really fascinating for three points. Number one, for what they're providing, because this stuff, it's evidence. Number two, for the implications that they suggest, because you know that there's so much more. Number three, because this is brand new. You remember that response to subpoena that I put up? That was something that was uh, from a screenshot yesterday that Adam Waldman provided. Well, this, it was attached to it. This is CHLA. You have a PDF. This is going to have a whole lot of stuff with it. And this is one of the documents that he screenshots there. You can see that this would be addressed to the nameless party. You have the date. And I'm only going to read this portion here. So, dear nameless party, the CHLA would like to extend our heartfelt appreciation for to you for recommending that a $500,000 donation be made to the hospital by an anonymous donor. Wait a minute. So, number one, we're not talking about those 3.5 million little dollar signs. We're talking about 500,000 little dollar signs. And number two, they weren't made by that nameless party. No, they were made by a real, legitimate nameless party. Now, the other attachments that is added to this, this is also from that same document. You can see a check made out for that same number. And this thing, it also has a name attached. I've cut off the name attached, but you can go look up very, very easily. But you know who it isn't? It isn't our nameless party. No, it's a different party. And again, this is missing three million other little dollar signs that were supposed to come into this organization. See, all of this stuff, it explains all of our newfound silence, especially after years where people were so, so quick to tell you about the giving. This also explains all of the legal fights and explains this, the way to try to keep this out. This didn't work, by the way, but listen to this here, because this, it tells you guilt, and it tells you who exactly is responsible. Remember plaintiff, too? That's J.D., 
defend it well. That's a certain nameless party. But plaintiff argues that he wants to test the truth of defendant's public statements. But in Virginia, quote, specific instances of the conduct of a witness may not be used to attack or support credibility. And specific instances of conduct of a witness may not be provided by extrinsic evidence. Then they give this rule. And this rule, oh, it says so much here. So the rule here provides that quote. Listen to this very carefully. Impeaching the truthfulness of any witness can only be done by reputation proof and not by cluttering the record with evidence of specific instances of that prior witness lying or false behavior and that admitting evidence of reputation formed as a result of one single instance is not proper. Hmm. So, going out and saying, hey, this person has lied before, they've exhibited false behavior, going out and saying that impeaches their character because of this one single instance, that's improper. You shouldn't be able to do that. And you know why you shouldn't be able to do that? Because it totally happened. That's right. We had evidence before all of this came up that this, it had already taken place. But now, yeah, we have undeniable proof. And that undeniable undeniable proof. It came to us from the CHLA. And yeah, I think there's a lot, lot more out there. I think there's a lot more people too out there that know some interesting stories. We have our Jennifer House. We have other people we don't know about. 2021, it is going to be a fascinating ride. But let me know what you think about this stuff. And as always too, I appreciate the heck out of you. You make these endeavors possible. Without you, none of this works. So thank you. If you want to help out the channel too, we have many different ways within the description there. Check out those links. We have our Patreon. We have PayPal. We have memberships. We have cool merchandise. And we also have our comic book. Our comic book, it closes down pretty soon, too. So you need to check that thing out before it's gone. Ooh, you'll love it, too. Check it out for sure. It's the best way to back the channel. But, as always, you being here, that matters. So thank you. I appreciate you. Share the heck out of this, too, if you would. And yeah, again, see you soon. I hope 2021 is treating you kindly too. Oh man, I feel like there's going to be a lot, lot more on the horizon.